Hey guys, today we'll be covering a 2020 drama film called Love on the Rise. The movie revolves around a talented cake decorator named Victoria Worthington. She owns her own bakery and occasionally delivers her fancy cakes to weddings, galas, and parties. One day, Victoria is finishing up an expensive cake that is meant for a high-profile wedding. Soon, Victoria's business partner Steph shows up at the bakery and insists that she should take a day off to unwind. Steph also suggests that she should start taking deposits, especially for expensive cakes, as Victoria does not make such things out of generosity. The next day, Victoria prepares to go and deliver the cake all by herself. Meanwhile, at the wedding, we are introduced to a wealthy and famous bachelor named Jacob Adams III. He works in a land development firm called the Adams Development Group, which is run by Jacob's father, J.J. Adams, and his assistant, Hank. At the wedding, Hank tries to set up Jacob with one of the girls, but he is not interested. Shortly after, Jacob's ex-girlfriend Lacey, who is now a famous internet vlogger, also shows up at the wedding. However, Jacob is not keen on seeing her, so Lacey leaves the wedding to go sit outside. Victoria then arrives at the wedding but has trouble taking the huge cake out of the car. She looks around and calls Jacob for help, mistaking him for a waiter. Surprisingly, instead of correcting her, Jacob hides his identity and helps her out. The two talk for a while and it's clear that they have chemistry. Afterwards, Jacob leaves for the wedding while Victoria also departs. The next day, Victoria is working at her bakery when her ex-fiancé Brandon shows up, startling her. It's then revealed that Brandon is getting married and he wants Victoria to make their wedding cake. She is stunned by Brandon's audacity, but nonetheless, she agrees to make it as she sees it as an opportunity to grow her business. In the meantime, Jacob and his assistant Hank and his father JJ are in a meeting. They are discussing bulldozing a strip mall, which is under their name, to build condos along the beach. However, Jacob is concerned about the small businesses that will be sacrificed, so he suggests JJ think of an alternative way to carry out the plan. Unfortunately, JJ ignores his opinion and plans on doing things his own way. The same night, Victoria's business partner Steph rushes to her home with some bad news. She reveals that the Adams Development Group is planning on demolishing the building which houses their bakery in order to build new condos. The sudden news leaves Victoria shaken, but Steph plans to protest against the development firm to fight for their business. So the next day, the two make different placards to protest and head towards the company building. On the way, Victoria stops to get some coffee and surprisingly meets Jacob. After their unexpected meetup, she asks him to accompany her outside. She then reveals that she is on her way to a protest rally with many others. Shortly after, Victoria introduces Jacob to Steph, and to his surprise, he finds out that they are actually protesting against his own development firm. So, he hesitates to join the girls, but when Victoria insists, he obliges. Shortly after, the group arrives outside the company, and Jacob warily covers his face with the placard. Then, other protesters arrive at the scene and chant continuously. However, JJ orders the security guard to kick everyone off the property. After the protest rally, as Jacob and Victoria walk home, he suddenly asks her out on a date. Victoria is flattered, and due to her love of reading, she suggests they go to her favorite library, to which Jacob says yes. In the next scene, the two meet up at the library and spend quality time with each other. Inside, Victoria shows him an expensive baking cookbook which she has longed to buy. Jacob offers to buy it for her, but she respectfully refuses because of the hefty price tag. Later, Victoria shares everything with Steph, making her ecstatic. She also informs her that Jacob is taking her out on a dinner date later on in the week. The next day, Jacob learns that someone uploaded a video of the protest and it has now gone viral on the internet. Victoria also finds out that the video has gained popularity and is happy to see her campaign flourishing. Later in the day, the Adams Development Group conducts a meeting to discuss the actions to be taken as a result of the growing protests. JJ comes to the conclusion that the leader of the protest group, Victoria, should be dealt with, much to Jacob's dismay. The same night, Jacob and Victoria go out to a restaurant for dinner. However, it turns out that Jacob's ex-girlfriend Lacey is also at the same place with some friends. Lacey soon notices Jacob having dinner with another woman, so she records a video of him for her vlog. She then uploads the video to the internet. The next day, Hank watches the vlog and questions Jacob about it. The latter reveals that he and the protester are dating. As expected, Hank is disappointed with the news, so he advises him to come clean to his father. However, Jacob refuses and begs Hank not to tell JJ anything about it. After a bit of pestering, he eventually convinces him. Meanwhile, Victoria expresses her concerns to Steph about how Jacob doesn't reveal anything about himself. To this, Steph suggests that she directly ask Jacob what he is hiding the next time they meet. The same day, Hank is approached by Lacey in a coffee shop. She tries to manipulate Hank into thinking that she likes him in order to extract information on the woman who Jacob was dining with. 
However, Hank sees through her ulterior motives and leaves the coffee shop. The movie then cuts to Jacob and Victoria at the beach enjoying the view and the sunset. Soon, Victoria talks about the Adams Development Group and their plan to build the condos alongside the beach. This causes Jacob a lot of guilt, so he tries to confess everything, but he hesitates and fails to do so. That same night, Steph informs Victoria that Brandon has called to set up his wedding cake consultation. However, Victoria decides to woman up and cancel his cake. She calls him up and tells him to find a new cake decorator before hanging up. This act of self-respect makes Victoria's heart fill with pride, and she drinks into the night with Steph. The following day, Jacob calls his father into the office to discuss any alternative locations to build the condos. This angers JJ, and he starts giving a lecture on the importance of money. Jacob tries his best to explain that the beach area is a very special place with lots of beauty. However, the old man simply scoffs and refuses to change locations. Later, while playing golf, Jacob tries to convince Hank to be on his side, but the latter refuses. Even he wants the plan to go ahead. However, Jacob doesn't want to put people's livelihoods at stake and is determined to put an end to the development plan. Later that evening, Jacob and Victoria go bowling. There, they compete in a bowling competition, and it's clear that Jacob is a novice when it comes to throwing balls, unlike Victoria, who is a seasoned pro. After their game, Jacob hears his favorite song playing. So, he drags Victoria to the dance floor, and the two have a great time. The two start to build a strong connection, and their love for one another grows. The next day, Victoria is confident, and she, along with tons of protesters, go to the development firm to conduct a rally. One of the protesters records the whole thing, and she is now seen as the head of the rally. After the protest ends and everyone goes home, JJ confronts Victoria as she is about to leave. Victoria suggests that he should call off the development plan and find another place to build. But JJ assures her that it cannot be canceled and that their protest rallies will mean nothing in the near future. Despite this, Victoria stands by what she says and informs the old man that she will not give up. Later that night, Lacey watches the protest video online and finds out that the leader of the protest is actually the woman who was dining with Jacob. In the next scene, Jacob surprises Victoria with a bouquet of flowers at her baker. She shows him around the place and even gives him a cupcake to munch on. Jacob is stunned by the cupcake's flavor, and he says it reminds him of his Nana's baking. He also says that his father was a massive fan of his Nana's cooking, which brought a smile to him every time. Following this, Jacob is ready again to confess his true identity to Victoria. However, he is interrupted by staff who arrives at the bakery. All of a sudden, Jacob remembers he has a meeting to attend, so he makes up a story about forgetting to go on a trip with his father and rushes to the firm. There, Hank informs him that the mayor is slowly drifting towards the protester side after pressure from the community. He also informs JJ that the mayor is conducting a special council meeting to discuss the development plan. Jacob stays quiet as he is confident that the protesters have got the upper hand. Back at the bakery, as Steph and Victoria close their shop for their Friday night off, Victoria gets a call from Lacey. It turns out that the cunning lady has orchestrated a plan to expose her ex-boyfriend, Jacob. So, she orders a cake to be delivered to the big council meeting, which will be attended by the mayor and also the Adams Development Group. Shortly after, Lacey sends the cake designs to Victoria and the two girls get to work. A few days later, the cake is finally ready. On the other hand, the gala where the mayor, the development firm, and other investors are gathered commences. Lacey also arrives and she begins to question Jacob about Victoria. She also blackmails him into dancing, threatening to expose the relationship to his father. Left with no choice, he dances with the cunning woman. Shortly after, Victoria arrives at the gala and witnesses Jacob dancing with another woman. She is shocked to see Jacob there as he had said earlier that he and his father were going out of town for a few days. This angers Victoria and she confronts him. Jacob is just as confused as Victoria to see her inside the gala and tries to explain everything. When he reveals that he is actually JJ's son, Victoria is heartbroken that he lied to her this whole time. She tears up and leaves the gala with staff after throwing a glass of wine at Jacob. On the way back home, she contemplates her decisions and decides not to talk to Jacob anymore. Back at the party, Jacob confesses his love for Victoria to his dad. However, the latter mistakenly thinks Jacob is trying to use Victoria for the company's profit. Over the course of the next few weeks, Jacob attempts to contact Victoria, but she doesn't respond to any of his calls. One day, as they are making more placards to protest, she receives a parcel. To her surprise, it is the expensive baking book that Jacob had previously offered to buy for her. However, she pays it no regard and throws the book away. One day at a meeting, JJ informs Hank and Jacob that the development will begin in about a month. Jacob is still miserable after losing Victoria. Then suddenly, Victoria shows up at the firm and rushes into the meeting room with a special cake. She ignores Jacob's attempt to talk to her and says that she wants to speak with JJ. 
She then lectures the old man on happiness and that money can never buy it. So she brought a cake which was inspired by his Nana's cooking in order to make him happy and bring a smile to his face. Before leaving, she asks him to at least try the cake. Jacob tries to talk to her, but to no avail. After she leaves, JJ tries the cake. Surprisingly, he is mesmerized by the cake and memories of his childhood come flooding back to him. Elsewhere, Victoria returns to her bakery and shortly after, Jacob knocks on the door. She reluctantly opens it and asks why he has come. The excited Jacob reveals that after Victoria's powerful words and her cake, JJ has decided to reduce the number of condo units, ultimately saving her bakery shop. Victoria is relieved to hear such good news, but still doesn't want to talk to Jacob. He takes this opportunity to sincerely apologize to her for everything. Eventually, Victoria forgives him and the two kiss. The movie then cuts to the future where the two are getting married and Victoria is making some final adjustments to her wedding cake.